In this video, I want to go through a more complicated TVM time value of money problem. It's going to be about computing future value when you've got a series of withdrawals, which we're going to treat just like an annuity. Um, if this is something you want to get right, do keep watching and let's get solving. So this is the question that I want us to have a go at. Patrick Cox has just invested 30,000 in an account earning 5% per annum. If the amount left in the account at the end of the sixth year is to equal 15,000, the value of the equal withdrawals which Cox may take out of the account at the end of the next six years is closest to. Okay, let's draw a timeline to represent the cash flows associated with this problem because the critical thing here is obviously to get our head around or hands around, you know, when things happen. So I've got uh, time zero that's uh, right now and I'm going to need right um, my timeline to go all the way up to year six which is um, when he wants to um, be able to withdraw or take out 15,000 over here and I'm representing what he'll be taking out um, as um, 15 uh, as, as something positive so this is the amount left and I'm going to treat this as basically our future value at time six. And the question is all about what is the value of the equal withdrawals that he'll be able to take out over the course of the next six years. So this is how much will be left. But what's this? How much will he be able to um, take out of the account and that's going to be obviously PMT on the calculator and that's the thing we're going to have to calculate. Now for the other inputs, PV is going to be over here 30,000, so at time zero. We've got an FV at time six, we've got PMTs. Now please note that this question does say uh, the value of the equal withdrawals which Cox may take out of the account at the end of the next six years, so including that outflow over here. And that's the amount left after it. One more input which we need is the interest rate or uh, the rate of return for the account. That's going to be our I over Y, which is 5%. So simply 5 as the input on the calculator. Let's go to the TVM worksheet on the calculator to get this computed. Because we're going to work with the time value of money worksheet, I suggest we clear it first. So second FV which has clear time value of money as its secondary function. And now, you know, in any really order, we can input these uh, numbers. Just one um, additional note. Remember that when you're working with PV and FD and PMT, make sure to distinguish between the inflows and outflows. So I'm going to make this PV a negative figure. So let me do this straight away. 30,000 followed by the plus minus key and now PV, uh, and I'm going to have all the withdrawals from the account and the amount left in it as positive numbers. You could do it the other way around, but I find this more intuitive and I'm used to this method. Five is going to be my I over Y, the number of periods, okay, I didn't previously say this. So N is going to equal to six, N is going to equal six. So six for N, the PMT is what we're looking for. 15,000 is our input for FV. And we're getting the calculator to compute. So CPT, uh, the PMT. Okay, and I can see that the result comes out as 3,705. And looking at the possible answers to the question, this seems to correspond with um, answer A.